Hello, today I'm going to show you some birds that I saw at the celery fields. The celery fields is an Audubon site in Sarasota, Florida. So right when we pulled in to park, right here there's a nesting box above and you can tell by the purplish kind of color and the white underside there's a female purple martin. And right there's the brighter male, it's more purple all around. And right here, there's a feeding station. And you can tell by this, it's a green parrot-like bird with a black face. And note note the red above the feet. That From that, you can tell this is a Nanday parakeet. These are wild parakeets. And here's another look at one. You can really see the red by the foot. And this is a very small bird with kind of a blue-gray color. And... And the name is actually a blue-gray gnat catcher. And right here, this kind of isn't in the best look, but you can tell, see the rusty red underwing there, the kind of gray color. If you look here, it's a better look, kind of a short, stubby-looking dove. It's a common ground dove. And right here, you can, you can look at the small size, the beak, and the white eye ring, and the little yellow patch right there on the... Right near the front of the wing is a yellow, and right here, you can see right there, there's a yellow rumped warbler. And right here, it's kind of looking away, but you can tell by the yellow by the tail and the overall brown color, this is a palm warbler. And then there's also near the feeding station, it's a boat-tailed grackle. And then you walk along, and then there's a bunch of turkey vultures flying over. This might look like a hawk, but you can tell by the two-toned underwing right there. And if you zoom in on the head, you can kind of see the vulture head right there, kind of pinkish. And right here, this has a really long down-curved beak when it has its head up, but it, while well, I was there, unfortunately, it didn't lift up its head. as a white ibis. And right here, it looks kind of like a hawk, but you can tell by the white ring right there and the striped, striped tail. You know, it's a female. It's a female northern harrier. They hover above fields and marshes and then dive down to catch anything that they can find. And right here, everybody knows this is a great blue heron. They're very large herons. And right here, there's a tricolored heron. You can tell by the white underside and the dark top with the yellow, kind of black and yellow beak with the red eyes. And right here is a northern mockingbird. And right here, there's a very distinct bird with the kind of orange-red candy corn-colored beak with the um, kind of like white or white yellowish tip on the beak right there. There's a common gallinule or common moorhen. And right here, it looks similar, but you can tell by the more vibrant colors and the yellow feet, this is a purple gallinule. And here's another look at a common gallinule compared to a purple gallinule. And then, this is a kind of like duck-like birds. But you can see the white beak, and this one right here is diving underwater. You can tell from that it's an American coot. They're actually um, more closely related to cranes and such than they are to ducks. And right here, you can tell it also looks like a duck. But you can, you can see right there that little shape right there. The beak has a little stripe on it. There's a pied-billed grebe. They dive down to catch anything that you can find it down in the lakes. And right here, you can see with that heron-like shape and the little bright or all orange beak with a little bit of green by the eye is a great egret. Then standing in the rushing water here, you can tell by the little yellow right before, right by the eye and the black bill, it's a little bit smaller. There's a better look at it and you can, another identification feature is the yellow feet. Just its feet are yellow, not its legs. It's a snowy egret. And right here is a very interesting bird. It's called a loggerhead shrike. They're a predatory songbird. They take like frogs and maybe occasionally small birds and insects and they take them and they stick it on barbed wire or thorn bushes and they save it for later. And you can tell it's kind of predatory like a bird of prey with the beak right there that's sharp and curved down. Right here, this you know, looks like a female mallard that you're used to seeing. But right here, you can tell by kind of the, the yellow beak. This is a male mottled duck. And here's a male. 
Here's a male down there. It has a yellow beak, but these are model ducks, different than mallards. Right here's a really rare one. They're very short. They're like, they're very small. I could barely spot it in here. It's a least bittern. They're very cool birds to see. They're super small and elusive. You can barely see them through the tall reeds. They blend in so well. It's it's uh, related to herons. They kind of have a short, stubby neck. They're very slow moving. And this is looks like a duck here. You can tell by the like kind of blue green head with the big white stripe in front of the eye and its face face is a blue winged teal. And thanks for watching. That's all the birds that I saw at the celery fields in Sarasota, Florida. It's a very great place to see birds. I highly recommend it. Thanks.